Hey, friends. Hey, thank y'all for y'all likes, y'all comments, and y'all subscriptions. Uh, they really mean a lot to me. I, um, yeah, there we go. Y'all, so let's get right into the download. Um, the download that I got, it, I got a several of them, but this one is, do y'all remember the, the Medea family reunion movie? And the mother in the movie was wanting the daughter to uh, put up with the abuse just because she had a man who was able to secure her future. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? The, and then there was the other daughter who the mother knew that her ex-husband was molesting her daughter. But she put up with her daughter being molested because her future was secure. You see the pattern? Somebody needs to stop listening to their mother. I'm just saying. I'm just the messenger, okay? Somebody needs to see the patterns in their own mother's life. And then compare them to your patterns and you will see that y'all are on the same fucking road. It's time for you to set boundaries between you and your mother's opinions, your mother's facts about your life. That, those are her facts. They, they are not your truths. And yes, this is your mother, but it's time for you to become free. It's time for you to have a mind of your own, to have a love of your own, because whoever you're planning on being with or whoever you're with at the moment, they are ready to have a change with you. They are ready to take their first step into making you theirs, like for real. You understand? It don't matter how you feel about marriage. You can put it on paper or not. When I get married, I don't want it on paper, to be honest. But hey, it is what it is. But you could get married or not, you know. But whoever you planning on being with, this person does want to be with you. But this person also feels like your mother is a big part of the reason why you have failed so much in love. Your mother is the reason why you failed so much in love. Why you haven't had the, the, the perspective on, on your consciousness, the perspective on your... On your subconscious, the perspective on your trust, how you manifest love, how you look at love, expect the unexpected. You're always worried about if someone is going to love you properly. It's like you just sitting back waiting for this perfect fucking man to pop out the sky, I guess. And all it's doing is creating anger within you. It's just creating anger. It's time for you to balance out your life, especially when it comes to your mama. Stop listening to her. And even if this is not a mother, this could be an older sister. This could be a friend that y'all been friends since y'all was born. I don't know, you know, but whoever this is, this is someone who is in that motherly role. She is a motherly figure. She is a nurturer. She is someone who is fertile. So that's why I say mother. But it's time for you to go within and see that a lot of your failures, when it has come to your relationships and your love has got to do with the, with the things that you have trusted, the words, the words of others that you have trusted instead of going within and, and finding that balance and that truth for yourself. <coughs> And you don't want to fail. You don't want to fail in love with this person. Whoever this is is in your life right now. You don't want to. But you're going to have to make a choice. Like you're grateful for this gift. You're grateful for this gift. You're grateful for this gift of love that this man is giving you. Or that he is going to give you. This could be past, present, or soon to be. Vision is on the bottom. You know how you want your life to live. You know how you want to lead your life. You are your own person. You are not your mother. Or whoever this 
motherly figure is. You are not this person. And that's where a lot of your failures come from. Listening to the advice of your mother. Let's get a little tarot. Clear of failure, Holy Spirit. Ace of Swords. Nine of Swords. Mm. Justice. So, failure is being clarified by the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the Justice, right? And you do, you feel like there you feel like there needs to be some sort of breakthrough. And this is bringing you a lot of despair and anxiety because it's your mother. Like you're going to have to hold your mom accountable for shit that she tells you that is actually fucking you up. It's not helping you. The tower and the empress. This is your mom. This is or someone who severely operates in that position. A motherly role. Yeah, you're going to have to tell. You're going to have to tell her. You know, like, hey. It's just going to have to be some accountability there. It's going to be have to be some truth. So a lot of honesty. You know, about the negativity that your mother puts in the atmosphere even uh, even if it's just about you and not even about your partner it could be just about you it's just that it's a it's a it's a it's a loss you know you don't help me grow you do not help me grow and that's what you're mostly afraid of is the, the there's going to be some type of breakdown in the relationship between you and your mom once you hold her accountable but it is what it is it is what it is because this is why your love life is failing because you're listening to your mother and if you compare your mother's love life right now to her to yours you'll see the comparisons you'll understand better just compare and don't be like, oh, well, she grew up in a different time. No, I'm serious. Because that mindset is still there, you know, regardless. Even if she's with your father, look at your mother's mindset and see how it's affecting your mother and father's marriage. But your father is just a strong person. He just deal with it, you know. But truly, your mother is a negative person. She can be very negative and very intimidating. She can put fear in people at times and make you have anxiety. You know, she wants everything to be a certain way and it's not that way because it's not her will of fortune to turn. And once she understands that, you know, she she has to um, be held um, at a certain standard too when it comes to your relationships. Not just other people, but she does too. Okay? She'll straighten up. She'll have an attitude, but she'll straighten up. It is going to change a little bit of the relationship. Not a lot, but it's going to change it. And it's just going to change it for the good. And if you ask me, because that means you just grew up. That means your ass then grew up. Okay? Continue to clarify love. The Hierophant. And the Knight of Cups. Yo, this your mama. This is your mama or somebody who strongly operates in that position in your life.
someone who you go to. This is someone you use your mother as a mediator in your relationships. You have used your mother as a mediator a lot of times in your relationships. And her traditional ways has caused you failure in every last one of them. The way she thinks, the way she wants you to conform to the way she believes and her knowledge. But it's lacking, even though the hyphen is someone who has knowledge. You get what I'm saying? But in this situation, your mother's knowledge is not completely, it's stuck at a level. She has not evolved more past what she thinks she knows, okay? I'm just saying, the tower and the empress is still over here. Don't forget her. That's your mama. That's your mama. There is going to be some type of upheaval in this relationship. I don't know. But your mom is giving you the wrong advice. Your mom is giving you the wrong advice. And I don't know why she chooses to give you that. To me, intuitively, I feel like it's just the way it's her mindset. Her mindset is fucked up. I know that's your mama, but it is. And her mindset is fucked up towards you too. There could be a little jealousy between um, your mother could have had you at an early age. So you could have really grew up with your mother. Okay, you could have really grew up with your mother. And so it's more like that's your mama. But it's like, damn, we, we ain't that far in age, you know, away from age either from each other. So there could be some sort of um, a little jealousy um, with your mom, with the way that you think, the, the way that you're you're flowing in life. She feels like she could have been as graceful and as charming as you if she would not have gotten pregnant with you so early. So she feels like you should suffer the same fate that she suffered. She feel like you should um, go through hard times like how she did. And that's just not the case. That's, a, that's some crazy backwards ass thinking. 1222, when I said that, that's why I said it's something about your mother's mindset. Wow. And she gonna come in with an apology. You know, well, I'm sorry that you know if you feel like that, but I'm just, no. It's time to just wait this, wait this thing out because whoever this new love is coming into your life, whether he's already in it or he's about to enter into your life, He's someone that does not want family involved in his relationship. This man wants to be able to focus on you and you only. He don't, he don't need the opinions of anyone on the outside of y'all's relationship. It is one plus one, okay? One plus one. He is going to be one of those. He ain't playing no fucking games. And your mama will get put in her place. So I advise you to either get her in check now or watch him check her. And that's going to cause extra problems. Okay, Candy and Todd? <laughs> Shit. Let's clarify a little more before I end this, okay? Can you clarify Vision. vision is clarified with the knight of wands in reverse yeah so your mom is someone who is very volatile she's very passive okay your mom is very fucking passive bro She's very passive. And she feel like um, you being her child, she has the right 
to be the uh, diplomat over your relationship with this king of cups on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Over what you do, who you celebrate with your friends. Yes. She feels like she has that right. Because she the one who molded you. She the one who put you in position. She the one who dedicated all her time, all her love, all her expertise into raising you. She the one had to go through all the stresses and the burnouts and the struggles with raising you. She had to let go of plenty of relationships herself because she had a child to raise, which was you. She couldn't be as independent and self-sufficient as she wanted to because she had a child. Oh, baby, your mama got a little uh, resentment. Your mother has hidden resentment. Okay, can I just say that? We got this five of wands here and this five of swords with the six of swords. Your mother has some hidden resentment. Yep. It's hidden. Seven of swords. Your mother has hidden resentment towards you. Hidden hostility. Hidden aggression. And a little bit of timid. And she intimidates that. She used it as intimidation towards you. Because she feels like she has authority. Like literally authority over you. She is very passive. Can be very arrogant at times too. Someone's birthday um, is um, July 5th. Someone's birthday is January. In January. Maybe January 9th. January 9th. Someone's favorite color is emerald green. Money green. Teal. Someone loves to wear messy buns. Someone loves bangs. Like you, you're never not going to have a bang. Someone loves me. Somebody, someone could be 5'2", five 5'3". Five someone could have a real petite um, body texture. Someone, I'm going to get a little bit deeper. Someone could have really small breasts. Um, I'm going to say A, A and B cups. Real, real small breasts. That man, he loves that. He loves your breasts. He loves how small they are. Someone could feel like they have a long neck, maybe like maybe like a neck like their father. They may feel like that's where their neck comes from. They don't like their neck, but it's okay. Everything about you, this man loves, and he or he will love. Someone could have a real, real nice body, and someone um could also uh, work out a lot. Someone doesn't want to not look good. Someone also could not always have on a lot of clothes someone could like to not put on a lot of clothes you know to each his own but that's just what i'm getting here someone could have a tattoo um on their um like shoulder that may be shoulder like by your um collarbone someone could love white toenail polish white fingernail polish Very intuitive, very intuitive, I must say. Loves the color brown. Loves two-piece outfits. Someone could love two-piece outfits. Like you just love showing your stomach off. Especially during this time of year. Depending on where you are. Someone could be the third child or it could be three children. Like, you don't have to be the third, but it could just be three children in the family. Is that a pool? Yo, know, I never noticed a pool back there in my neighbor's yard. Am I looking right? Or is that a pool back there? I know that ain't no motherfucking pool. Yeah, I don't know what. Somebody could be going on a trip soon to some type of pool. 
um, where there is a pool, you know, maybe it's a pool in a motel. Um, yeah. So. Someone could love mauve. Someone really could love the color mauve. M-A-U-V-E, mauve. Someone could also make Easter baskets or someone loves Easter baskets still. Or you make Easter baskets for your kids, like you make them. Someone could be taking up a new line of study. And and this and your mom just do not want you to have this creative spark, to have this own your own initiative in life to create your own path, your own passions. She does not want that with this ace of wands and this seven of swords split the deck. She doesn't want you to be resourceful on your own. Cause this, I think your mom might help you a lot, you know, with things. You, you, she helps you a lot, but it's gonna be soon with this four of cups here, where you start disconnecting from her and you stop accepting her, her apathy. You stop accepting her so-called counseling, her intuitive counseling, because it's not helping you. It's creating illusions and confusions with this moon card here. It's creating illusions and confusions in your life. Yeah. Your mom helps you a lot with material support. That's what it is. So she feels like she can rule you in any area. But I'm telling you, if this man has not already came in your life, when he does come in, he ain't having that. You're going to have to put that to an end right now. This is just your warning, I guess. And I guess I'm going to leave it here, honey. Because whoever this is, he's coming in to love on you. Baby, you should let me love you. Let me be the one to give you everything you want and need. Yeah. He coming in. Baby, good love and protection. Make me your selection. Okay. He coming in. He coming in as the patriarch. Okay. He coming in to protect you. He coming in to provide for you. Do you hear me? This man coming in with full of kindness, prosperity, abundance. He is coming in. If he ain't already here. He is coming in. And you're going to have to check your mama away before he get in. Because if not, you're going to see some bullshit. In it. And this man going to leave you. He's the best thing you've ever had. And this man is going to leave you because of your mama. And, and because of her secret animosity. And her secret jealous jealousy towards you. Her secret conflict. Split the deck. Her secret conflict. Her secret competition that she has for it with you. Your mother is in secret competition with you. And you already know why. Rewind this tape back. Rewind this video back. Because she felt like you transformed her life. She had to let go of so much. And be in so much burden. And have so much responsibility and stress. And teach you. And have you. I ain't lying. So she couldn't be independent. Hmm. Wow, I don't know. Well, child, this is the message. I hope it helps someone. Um, if you like the way I read, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the join button to take advantage of my membership perks. And thank y'all so much for watching the ads. Thank you. Have a good day.